James, thank you for uh, joining us. Tell us uh, what happened. Who did it? Who did it to you and for why? Well, look, I co-authored uh, with a former Conservative, now independent councillor, an open letter uh, to MPs and sent it to all 19,000 councillors, urging our elected representatives, our MPs, to back a humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza. Uh, nothing should be controversial about that. The vast majority of the British public support that. The vast majority of the public around the world support that. And indeed, the vast majority of governments around the world support that. And within that letter, uh, we did two things. We said, look, we know uh, that the political parties are weighing down on officials that speak out like a ton of bricks, so you can sign anonymously. But you are publicly elected, and so if you choose not to sign, i.e. make a decision, you choose not to sign, uh, then we will also publish a list of names, uh, including you, in the interest of uh, public accountability. Uh, now, in my view, politicians should be held accountable for their views. Uh, but in this uh, crazy day and age, uh, that has been, uh, in my view, deliberately distorted and taken out of context uh, to be uh, bullying, threatening, intimidating, uh, and allegedly even blackmail, which uh, I find really quite hard to believe myself. Well, of course, uh, these people want to uh, act in the shadows. They don't want the public, especially their own public, to know that they're supporting the slaughter in Gaza, that they are opposed to a ceasefire in Gaza, a ceasefire which has now occurred. So you've been punished for calling for something which has now happened. What are they going to do now? Well, I think they're going to struggle a little bit, to be honest. Uh, the local government association, which <laughs> represents all councillors in England and Wales decided to release a statement to the press saying I'd stood down from my roles at the LGA. Uh, that's blatantly false. Um, the independent leader at the LGA said, why don't you just sit it out for a month until the heat dies down? And I said, you know what, if that would help you, sure, why not? I'll absent myself from the next meeting. Uh, but they, they then decided to say that I had stood down, which is an admission of guilt. Uh, I've done nothing wrong. I've spoken truth to power. And in fact, almost 1,000 councillors and counting seemingly agree with me, despite this barrage of abuse. Uh, I fully expect to be reinstated to the LGA for what it's worth. And indeed, just this evening, I have become the official leader of the opposition on Kingston Council. As the former Conservative joins our group, the Conservatives are now relegated to third party status. So when you said bounce back, uh, I think you were spot on. Uh, you know, and as for these people who, you know, on the one breath say free speech, freedom of expression, uh, on the next, you know, they try and cancel people with whom they disagree. I had a number of people write to my professional employer. Uh, who decided to suspend me. Uh, I'm pleased to say that that suspension was within two days, of course, lifted on the basis of uh, freedom of expression. Uh, but the very notion that it happened in the first place, I think really paints a worrying picture uh, for the state of democracy, for the state of freedom of expression, um, and for the state of people willing to stand up for the oppressed in society, which is something I'll certainly never shy away from doing. And my goodness, I know you never do either. Well, uh, it's even more uh, extraordinary when you, if you, if you like, if, when you count the heads, the number of people who oppose a ceasefire numerically is tiny. You have a huge majority of people who call for a ceasefire. You have a significant number of people who don't know. Uh, and you have a small number of people who oppose a ceasefire. But nobody in the world has been suspended from anything for opposing a ceasefire. The people who've been suspended from their jobs, like you, are the people who are representing the vast majority. It's a paradox, it's a funny old world, as Mrs. Thatcher once said. It certainly is, it's rather perverse. Now, I think the cherry on the cake for me is just two weeks ago, councillors across the country here in the UK 
received an email from Luke Akehurst. Uh, now, for the, your viewers who may not know who he is, he sits on Labour's national executive under Keir Starmer. But he was writing in his guise as the director of a lobbying group called We Believe in Israel, uh, writing to uh, all councillors uh, from his perspective. Uh, when people wrote into, uh, among others, the LGA saying, you know, I really didn't appreciate him writing in, the LGA's response was practically, well, you're on your own on your bike, uh, he can say what he wants. Uh, and so the notion that I'm not able to say what I want, um, you know, frankly, is for the birds. And uh, I'm going to keep saying it and I'm not going to stop. And seemingly uh, the vast majority of councillors uh, who have engaged uh, agree too, which makes sense when you look at the opinion polls. But equally, you know, the people that must be held to account are people like the Conservative councillor uh, for a region I won't disclose, uh, who wrote back to me that Gaza should, and I quote, be raised to the ground. Uh, the irony was in the same email, they said, but I don't give you permission uh, to tell people that I've told you that. I mean, this is just absolutely preposterous that we've got <laughs> public officials in elected office having the uh, gall to say something uh, as horrific as that, uh, but as cowardly as to say, I, I, this is what I believe. But if you tell anyone, I'm going to personally sue you, which is what they said. Wow. Democracy, shamocracy. Well, congratulations on your new position. It's onwards and upwards for you. Uh, you now are the official leader of the opposition uh, on the uh, Royal Borough of Kingston Council. Uh, I'd like to say you'll get your reward in heaven, but I think you'll get your reward much sooner than that, James, because you're doing God's work here, and people will recognize that in, uh, in your own ward, in your own council area. Thanks for coming on to tell us what happened Pleasure. to you, Councillor James Giles, leader of the opposition on the London Borough of Kingston.